talking about common youth beginner volleyball problems, issues, challenges. This won't cover all of the things that we experience as athletes and coaches, but here's a few common things that I see reoccurring often, often enough to address. I'll probably end up breaking down each one of these parts um, in further videos, uh, but for right now, this is a start. First up, efficient movement. Movement is something that can be really hard. The purpose of this is to get them exposed at an earlier age, even though they won't be very good at it, um, to making movements that are bigger, smoother, and eventually when they're older and they need it, um, they will be able to cover the court more efficiently. Okay, so what we're gonna do, in volleyball, we don't like to run around the court standing up like this. Okay, so we don't move around and stand up like this. We move around the court like this in a low position, but it's hard to do that when you're, it's hard to walk when you're squatting. So I want you guys to squat like this, as low as you can. Get those butts down, get your butts back. Okay, now what I want you to do is push from your left leg and reach, and I want you to walk as normally as possible all the way to this. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, now we're gonna turn around. We're gonna do it back there. I want to see. Hold on, come back here. Okay, we're trying to take big steps. So I want you to use the floor to push yourself forward. So drive, drive, drive. Okay. Now we're gonna do it backwards. Oh, and this is harder because when people move backwards, see what you're, what we're doing here. When people move backwards, they want to take a little step, and we only do this. And if you're doing this, you're not going very far, are you? So no. you want to go far. Okay, I want you to use your front leg and push and then reach. And reach. Oh. Yes, all the way back. Good, Caroline. Okay, drive, drive, drive. Drive yourself back. Drive yourself back. <laughs> Do that same thing. Drive yourself back. Okay, reach with a long leg. And I want you to keep your head still when you do it. Ready? One second. Okay, hold on. Chicken. Wait for Caroline. All right, ready? Go. Reach, push, 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 yes. There we go, okay. Now, shuffling is a thing that you'll do in volleyball a lot. Okay, so our hips right here need to be strong. Most of the time when we move around the volleyball court, especially for passing, okay, people shuffle like this, and then we're, we're really lazy with our hips. So I want you guys to be strong in your hips. Wait, why do you have to like stand down when you do so that you're below the volleyball. Because if, if I'm standing up and the volleyball hits me, I don't have any force because I'm already standing up. But if I'm down here, I can get under it when I touch like, the bottom. Is it like, like, what if you go like above it? If I go above what? The above ball? like the ball, like. Good question. If I'm standing up, okay, the ball here, and if I stand up right here, I touch the back of the ball. This is the back. And if I touch the back of the ball, where's this ball going to go? To the ground. To the ground. Okay, it's going to go here or there. But if I sit down, now we're well, touching the ball. Here angle. Now I'm touching the bottom of the ball. Where does the bottom of the ball go? Up. It goes up. So we want the ball to go up on our side, not over on our side. Right, that's why that's why we have to move from the down position. Okay. So to get across the court this way to shuffle, I want you guys to face that ball over there. I'm going to drive from this leg, okay, and we're going to push, 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 okay. now I'm going to drive, I'm going to drive from your left, push, 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 push. Good. everyone's head, stay below this tape right here, keep your head still, and push, 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 One of the more common issues that you'll see with younger players in passing particularly is being able to stay in posture. They're just not very strong yet and they've never done it so they don't know what it feels like. So I like to explain what it feels like and coach by feel or analogy. Um, so you'll hear me say things like put your backpack on, show your turtle shell to the ceiling, squeeze and freeze, referring to squeezing the neck, freezing the platform, um, things like that I think can help them visualize and feel what they're doing. First, get into partners.
what we're doing. You guys, us on this line, we are okay, the tossers. Okay, so we're going to be here. Okay, our tosser is going to toss it right in front of us. And I want you to put your backpacks on like this. Put your backpack on. Round your back out. Yes, there you go. And then squeeze and freeze. Pass through this. Reach out. Don't touch your body. There you go. Reach out here. After I pass it, okay, I'm going to shuffle back and touch this line and then shuffle back forward again. I'm going to do that five times. Okay, tossers toss. Gentle. Although we've talked about posture, they're still going to pop up because they just haven't programmed it yet. So here's a drill that I use with younger and older players, some older players, um, that encourages and isolates the chest down. And in this drill, I will have them stop underneath the net um, just so that they can feel what their chest is doing. Normally with older players and more experienced players, I don't want them to stop when they pass. Uh, but for exaggeration purposes and isolation purposes, I'm going to have them stop today. So when we start passing, I'm going to slap the ball to tell you when to go. So when I slap the ball, you're going to shuffle with your right foot forward. Okay? Right foot's going to come forward. You're going to go underneath the net right here. You're going to put your arms out and stay right here. You don't stand up or you're going to hit this. Okay? So I just want to take your butt. That's when you pass. Go. Okay? All right. Ready? Stop. Yes. A lot of young players struggle to get the ball over the net when they're serving uh, because A, they're not strong and they're not getting their power from where they should be getting it, which is behind you. But tossing is tricky. So I'm going to try to simplify uh, the toss, which your body doesn't want to do. It wants to make this huge movement and the toss goes way up in the air. I'm going to try to dumb it down a little bit and ask them to do less, move less. All I want them to do is straighten their elbow out. We also want to identify other common problems, such as bringing your elbow way down, letting the ball drop too far, and not swinging up at the ball, and touching the bottom so that it can go up. Oh, and a lot of swinging across your body. Oh, okay, everybody on your right knee, get down like this. Okay, in order to serve good, you have to control your top. So I want you to feel what your tossing arm is doing, put a little bend in it like this and then make it straight and toss this ball so that it bounces away from you. We're gonna to practice tossing and just simplifying the elbow straightening because as soon as they stand up, they're going to use their whole shoulder and the ball's gonna go two feet higher. But before I let them stand up, we're gonna exaggerate swinging up, hitting the bottom of the ball, which is why we're on our knees. Next up is setting. Setting can for sure be a struggle because kids have a hard time, some adults even, have a hard time getting the ball to come into their hands evenly. 
part of this reason is because you'll see that their hands are flat when they go to address the ball. And we're gonna try to work on having their hands facing the ceiling and each other. So that makes a ball shape. This allows for the ball to come in with even pressure and then it gives you the best opportunity to get it out with even pressure. Another thing I try to tackle if I can is removing the option of slapping at the ball. And we get slapping because of that hand posture that I talked about a minute ago. Um, having your hands flat and then moving them up to the ball makes it so that you kind of slap it. Just wait for the ball to come to you. Here's some more cues. I'm gonna show you with Jordan. Jordan's gonna demo. Put your right foot forward. Okay, bend a little bit. Yes, now you look ready. Get your elbows out, hands facing the ceiling. There, perfect. Now catch this ball, catch it. Good, now push it to me. Okay, now when you push it, when you set, I want your elbows, okay, to plug your ears as fast as you can and finish with your hands together. All right, yes, perfect. Avery, you're Catch pushing it. it back to me. Now push it. Plug your, yes. Okay, ready? There you go. Push. Yes. Good. Ready? Catch it. Push. Good, Jordan. Okay, now I dare you. Push. I dare you to set it higher than the basketball. Catch it. Push. Last but not least, low, fast movement and going to the floor. This is a fun competitive game that encourages moving in low posture while also tackling stress management and getting comfortable with the floor. The floor can be your friend. Let's watch. Okay, here's the game. Game. Okay, we're yes. like this. Heads cannot be yes. the tape. Okay, not you guys are trying to roll your ball to get past them. You guys are trying to roll your ball to Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And let me know what else you want to see.